Hi, I want to show you how to create a pipeline and visualize that with Scikit-Learn 0.23. We're going to be looking at a telco data set for churn. So we're going to create a logistic regression model. And then we're going to put that in a pipeline and visualize it. So let's get started. Let's load in our dependencies. Import. Let's uh, import the column transformer. Let's so we probably will need a few more, but for right now, let's run that and let's load in our data set. This is in a CSV that I have on my desktop. What else? Oh, SK Learn had another misspelling. Let's fix that. And let's take a look at the head of this. All right. And let's check out to see if what we're missing, if we have any nulls using info. Uh, we're all good there. The first thing we're going to have to do, because this is a psychic learn uh, model, is uh, this is going to be our prediction column. So we do need to turn that into zeros and ones. I rather do this in the beginning. Sometimes I have issues if I'm using column transform. And we're going to pass in a dictionary. All right. So if we look at the head, we can see that we've replaced that. OK, so I want to use the columns method just to see all my columns. And let's just create some um, our x and y variable here. So let's take the columns. We don't need customer ID. We do need all of these. And I'm just going to leave total charges out from x variable because you know, we just paste those in. So uh, we can use x equals df, and then we can use our seal calls, and then for y we want to use churn. Uh, oops, call. All right. So now we have our x and y variable. We want to use train, test, and split to create a training and test set. I'm going to go back up to where I loaded in all my dependencies and load that in. Uh, and I'm sklearn.model selection. Let's import train test split oh well I'm getting ahead of myself let's do train test and split so we want to do we want an x train variable and an x test variable and a y train variable and a y test variable so we can use train test and split with our x and y and now we have our training and test set I'm going to start loading in all our we're going to load in our column transformers and the model so one, let's do OH, OHG for one hot encoder. And let's instantiate that. And let's use uh, scale equals standard scalar. And Let's use log reg for logistic regression. Mm, 
what else are we missing? Okay, so let's load those in. And then let's use our make column transformer and save it under make column transformer. All right. And let's pass it in the, the tuples that we want to use. So for one hot encoder, uh, and we actually do need to make sure this isn't a tuple. For one hot encoder, I'm going to use the, uh, we're going to be using contract, paperless billing, payment method. We're going to load that in as a, a list. And let's start formatting this so we can see it a little bit better. Let's make sure we... All right. Let's put that all on one line so we can see what's going on. And let's also use standard scalar. So let's make another tuple scale, scale equal, sorry, now scale. And then we want tenure. And we want our, what else do we, monthly charges. And what else am I forgetting? Tenure, monthly charges. So we got contract, payment method, paperless billing. Payment method and so I think we're all good and then we can just um, for safety sake put remainder equals pass through this will just ensure all right as a column transformer now that we have that we can create a pipeline so I'm gonna go pipe equals make pipeline And then in that pipeline, I'm going to have a column transformer and our classifier. After that, I want to fit my pipeline to the training data. Phone service. Ah. So that is our issue. So we need to handle the phone service by passing that to one hot encoder. So let's just copy that and go back to our column transformer. And pass that in. And we run that again. Now we should be good. Here's our pipeline. Now, all we, we want to be able to visualize this pipeline so I'm going to say from sklearn, just so you can see it, it import set config. And then we're just going to use uh, display equals diagram. Got ahead of myself. Now that we have that, 
I can just run my model and boom you have a visual I'm going to quickly go up and I'm going to just add a feature selection uh, from scikit-learn I'm going to let's say here create a new column and I'm going to use feature selection there and let's call it feature selection and then we say SK oh, select best okay and then let's get the top six select uh, I think it's a big B and then we have our feature selection so we run that and then now we can add that to our pipeline so before we want the classifier we want to do feature selection and then we can run that and now you can see we have our feature selection there hope that helped thank you